All right, one other thing I got to play for you. This is, uh, I, we could call it disappointing. Also, not really disappointing because it's, it's totally expected. Sam Elliott is, of course, the famous, iconic uh, Hollywood actor. And a couple, a few weeks ago, we um, gave him some credit because he was asked about this uh, Power of the Dog, which is this artsy, western, t- terrible, boring movie, dull, very dull movie. It's, I, mean, I, I defy you to watch that movie and make it through 15 minutes without falling asleep. And it was nominated for a bunch of awards and everything. And it's about a gay cowboy and the critics are hailing it because of the gay themes and everything else. Um, Sam Elliott in a, in a podcast was asked about this movie and he gave an honest answer. He said he doesn't, he doesn't like it. He doesn't, you know, he just doesn't, he doesn't need those kinds of themes in a, in a Western. He likes the more traditional Westerns. That's his, that was his honest opinion about it. And, um, of course, people were very upset about his honest opinions because he was asked about his opinion of the movie. But just because, as we've learned, just because you're asked about your opinion of something, that doesn't mean that you're, that you're actually entitled to give your opinion. What they want to hear is you repeat the accepted opinion and pretend like it's your own, whether it is or not. And so people are very upset about that. And, uh, and Sam Elliott was on a panel a couple days ago was asked again, and he is now singing a little bit of a different tune. Listen. Yeah, first, don't go do a podcast whose call letters are WTF. (laughs) (laughs) That movie struck, struck a chord with me. And in trying to tell the guy, the WTF guy, how I felt about the film. I wasn't very articulate about it. I didn't articulate it very well. And I said some things that hurt people. And I feel terrible about that. The gay community has been incredible to me my entire career and i mean my entire career from before i got started when i was in this town friends on every level in every job description up until today with my agent my dear friend my agent of a number of years and i'm sorry that i hurt any of those friends and someone that I loved, and anyone else, by the words that I used. Is he going to cry? It looks like he's about to cry. I couldn't keep listening to the watching the clips. I don't know where where it goes. It can't, it can't go anywhere good from here. It just goes to show. Look, these these are actors. The characters they portray on screen are fake, of course, and oftentimes do not reflect who they really are at all. So Sam Elliott has made a career playing these kind of gritty, tough, uh, you know, Western badass type figures, and here he is on a on a panel in Hollywood crying because people were <laughs> had their feelings hurt by his opinion about a movie. He's 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 apologizing to the people who he hurts. And those are people who were hurt by Sam Elliott's opinion of Power of the Dog. They they were hurt because Sam Elliott had an opinion about a movie that they disagreed with. Hurt. We never get any specifics on how this, like in what way were they hurt? How could they have been hurt by that? But they were. So Sam Elliott grovels and apologizes. Uh, it's just, it's a damn shame. I mean, he's old. He's in his, you know, he's in his seventies. He's obviously rich. He's got plenty of money, um, and he has everything that he needs to just throw up the middle finger to all of the sensitive cry cry bullies, the not even really sensitive, the pretend sensitive cry bullies, and say, you know what, I don't care. But he's not going to do that because he lives in Hollywood, and and this is how he's been. He himself has been conditioned his whole life. And it won't matter either. He is, it, does, it doesn't, you've already, it's too late, Sam. You've revealed your actual opinion about something. Cat's out of the bag. And everyone knows the secret now. They know the secret that you actually have your own opinions about things. 
and and God forbid you 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 maybe sometimes enjoy watching movies where um, uh, th- th- there's there's not uh, the LGBT ideology being being uh, shoved in your face every second. Like you you sometimes prefer to watch movies without that. God forbid. So you've already revealed that they know it now, and you can cry and apologize all you want. It's not going to change it. Could have kept your dignity. Decided to give it up, and you get nothing in return. Same old story. Well, I hope you enjoyed that clip from The Matt Wall Show. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right down there so you can stay up to date on all of our future content.